Yes. What, National Black Cat Day? Yeah. It's today. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's so weird. That's a weird day, but hey, we're celebrating. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Today we're going to draw... A vampire cat. A vampire cat in honor of National Black Cat Day. They get a day. Hey, why not? All right, let's grab our pencils and get ready to draw. Your pencil ready to go? Yeah? Pencil ready. Actually, I got a little too much lead out on mine. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's get our pencils ready and let's draw. So we're going to start out with real light pressure with some basic shapes, just figuring out where our cat is going to be positioned on our page here. And I'm going to do kind of a cartoony looking cat with a big head and maybe some bat wings and Tiny some things. Wings. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. So we're going to start in the middle of our page and I'm going to do kind of like a, a rectangle for the head. It's gonna, Minecraft head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like a Minecraft head. And I know that the ears are gonna come off the top of that rectangle. Not too high, I'm gonna do kind of short stubby ears. Kind of like that. Okay, and then we're going to do a little body. It kind of looks like Unikitty's head. <laughs> Does it? Is there, well, who's Unikitty? I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that, Unikitty, but. That pink cat in the Lego movie that has a unicorn horn, but it's like unicorn slash cat. Huh. Well, cool. With a cat with a unicorn horn. Now, I'm starting to work on the body and the front legs. We're gonna have our cat kind of sitting, so I'm just gonna do some kind of little stubs for front paws there that go up like that and come to the middle, tapered. They're smaller at the bottom, wider at the top, like so. I think the ground ends right in there somewhere. And we'll go ahead and make a line there just so we know where the ground is. Ooh, your cat is kind of tiny, huh? Yep. That's all right. Now I'm going to have the body kind of coming out from behind the front legs like so. Just a little bit on each side. And then it's going to round around like so for the back legs, the hind legs. Kind of almost like two halves of a heart on each side. I'm gonna kind of square mine off a little bit though. And then just a couple little feet there at the bottom. And because I did it that way, I'm gonna have my front paws in just a little lower than that plane there that we made because they're closer to us than the back feet. Okay. And then I plan on having a tail coming out from behind and it's just gonna wrap up like a big S. It's gonna be a little thicker on the end and taper just a little bit at the bottom. Not too much. Yeah, there you go. It's like a big old kind of S. Snake. Yeah, or snake. And then I know that I'm going to have some little wings, Tiny bat wings. wings. They're going to start kind of at the middle of the body here that I created. And I'm just going to have on the side, it's going to kind of come out a slight curve outside the edge of the head here that we did. And then the top is going to kind of just go straight out like that. And then we're going to do the middle. Kind of, there are like fingers on bat wings, so we'll do that like as the middle finger. And then they all come from that same point up there and a little smaller. So it's kind of bigger in the middle, smaller there. <clears throat> we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, like so. 
Just like that. Have you ever um, drawn a spider web? Well, kind of like a spider web, we're going to connect these fingers with curves. And then this one will just connect somewhere in there. And then same thing with this. Like that. The easy way is just to do the three fingers first and then the curve between them like that. And we're still roughing this in, so you know, just still using light pressure. Um, we'll add more detail as we go. This is just giving us an idea of where we're at, where things are at. So far, I'm happy with the proportions and the way things are looking. How's yours doing over there? Good. Okay. So I'm going to start working on the face then here, figuring out how that's going to work out. Now I know that my cat is going to have some big eyes. Okay. So I'm going to do some big circles, ovals really, one on each side. Yeah, just have fun with it. You know, you don't have to do giant eyes. You can do small ones if you want. Those are just the circles because I'm actually going to have them be uh, kind of squinched, like, you know, like she's got kind of an attitude like that with a little slant over the top like so. And then at the bottom, I'm actually going to cut it off a little bit too. That's the cheek where the cheek is raised up because she's kind of squinting her eyes. So we'll actually end up erasing that up there. And now we're going to do a little triangle nose right between the eyes here. Just a small one. I like that. I don't think that's good. And then off the bottom. We're going to connect at the bottom of the nose, and we're just going to do, yeah, a couple little curves going out. Now from there, I'm going to add the fangs, and I'm going to do just two little points. Just keep them small. You can do big ones, little ones, whatever you want. I'm just doing a couple little points on my vampire kitty. <laughs> nice. I like it. Now I'm going to do some little wisps of fur on the sides on the cheeks here and I'm gonna have that kind of start down here kind of towards the bottom and I have one hook up like that and then one smaller one below it and it's gonna connect back here like so then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just like that yeah I like that, that looks good Okay, perfect. perfect. Now that I've roughed it out, oh, actually, you know what? I know I'm going to do some shine, some big old shines in the eye. Do three of them. Now that I've got this roughed out, I'm going to start pushing down with harder pressure with my pencil and really starting to add some detail and definition to this pencil work that I've got going on so far so that when we ink we know exactly what we're inking so I'm gonna start up here with the ear and I'm actually gonna have it kind of hook off the edge of the headline that I created like that and then this is gonna go back towards the middle and do a little fur by the ears I decided just now And then I'm going to connect here. I like the lines that I had for those. I'm not going to change them much. I'm pretty much going to trace. Ooh, there you go. And then I'm going to do the same thing there. Bring it back towards the neck. Do a little neck fur like that. Shooting over to the other ear. I'm going to do the same thing with this ear. I'm just going to come out like so. A couple little wisps by the ear. 
down to the cheeks. And there we go. Now I'll go ahead and add those center of the ears there, like you did already. And then I'll, right there at the base, I'll add a little fur. Just like so. Now with the eyes, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be inking that. That'll get erased. So that was just to show me where my eyes were at. So I'm gonna pencil in this. It's gonna hook back up there in the middle just to give her a little bit of a scowl. And we're gonna connect to the bottom where the cheek meets, like that. Just do that on both sides. And I'm actually going to have the eyeball go, or the iris go just to the edge of the eye there. So I'm going to make another line following that shape. And that'll all get colored in black. Got a couple little scalp wrinkles there. And this is pretty good. I'm essentially just tracing that. I like the way that looks. I don't need to deviate at all. I'm going to keep those fangs just like they are. And that's our head there of our kitty. And it looks pretty good, I think. What do you think? How's yours going? Good. Excellent. Love it. And now on to the body. Basically going to be tracing what I have here. I like the shapes and I want to keep it simple. I might add some fur here and there, maybe right up here by the neck. Just a couple little indicators there. Have it connect down there. And the hind leg, I'm going to add a little fur, like so. See, just a couple little zigzags. Nothing crazy. Keeping it simple. And then just a couple little feet poking out. And now the front legs really just following the shapes I already had I like them I'm keeping it simple a couple little simple shapes had a little fur and wrinkle there where it connects to the body okay and that is our body of our kit okay now let's do the wings. I'm gonna do the wings. It looks like you already did your wings. That's good. So I'm gonna just follow the shape I have. I like how it looks. I don't have to change it much. Sometimes what'll happen is you rough in and you decide as you're doing this step that you need to change some things. Yeah, I had to move the can that way because it was the, cause, and I had to move the wing that way because the whiskey was going through the wing. Yeah, and that's why we rough everything out in pencil lightly to begin with because you can see that. Oh, hey, I, you know, I don't like the way this uh, wing looks or it's too big or it's too small. And then you can change it. Look my cat can run really fast. Look how big his back legs are. Oh, yeah, some muscly <laughs> legs. So just like yeah. I'm gonna make so uh, all I'm doing here is following the lines I had. All I'm doing is actually just following the lines I made for my rough end, and I'm just giving them definition, you know, real shape. And that sometimes you know that just takes practice, lots of drawing to figure out these kinds of things. And now we are done with our wings. And now for the tail. Last but not least, a very important piece here is the tail. And I like the shape of my tail. I'm not going to change it much. I'm going to add some little fur, little zags on it like that here and there. Maybe down here a little bit as it winds down. A little towards the bottom. And that is it. Awesome. Now I'm 
going to add a couple little details. Since we are dealing with a furry kitty, I like to add some little hatch marks on the outside edges where you might see just, I don't know, it's just like a fur detail. It makes it kind of look like it's fuzzy or something. I'm going to do that around the edges of the tail, maybe up here by the ears, down here by the cheeks, like that. I already did some of the neck, but I'll do some by the body. See how that does that? It just kind of looks like we got fur on our cat. Okay. I love it. This is great. I'm ready to move on to ink. How about you? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you guys think? This is looking great. So we're going to move on. Since I'm happy with my kitty here I'm gonna move on to inking so go ahead and get your bold marker whatever it is that you're using today um, I like to outline my drawings with a bold marker yep you got a sharpie so I'm, uh, my drawings you know really done now I'm just tracing so all I'm gonna be doing is taking my bold marker I'm gonna follow my lines on the outside of my kitty and then go back through the interior of my drawing with a fine point. So go ahead and get your bold marker. We're going to speed it up for this part and we're going to do that now. Sweet. This kitty's turning out good. Yours is looking excellent. You added a trick-or-treating basket. That's great. Okay, now that I'm done outlining my... <laughs> oh, you went ahead and did your interior stuff with your bowl. That's cool. Whatever you uh, want to do. Some people like to do uh, things different ways, so... Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my fine tip now. I'm going to finish tracing the pencil lines that I have on the interior of my kitty here. And um, yeah, and add, add maybe some fine details uh, after that, after we erase. So go ahead and take your fine tip marker and go ahead and do that now. Alrighty. I am done, I think. I'm gonna do a couple little lines right there. Just for the heck of it. Okay, so now that I have fully inked my drawing, I'm gonna get my eraser out and erase all my pencil lines that I use to help me get my kitty this far. So Go ahead and get your erasers out and let's erase our pencil lines now. Now that I've erased, I'm going to go ahead and color in my eyes with my bold. So I'm going to fill the eyes in right now with the bold marker. So go ahead and do that if you haven't done it already. I like to wait until after I've erased my pencil lines myself. Um, and that's just because a lot of times if you have pencil lines going on in something like this that you're going to fill with black, you'll still be able to see them uh, when you go over them if 
if you haven't erased them. So I am doing that now. So we'll just take a minute here to do that. Note, I'm pretty much ready to color. How about you? I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name. Uh, don't forget to do that. I'm gonna do it down here. I always like to do kind of the bottom right hand side of my drawing. And today is the 27th National Black Cat Day. We'll do a couple little marks here underneath just to kind of give the illusion of a shadow. Daddy, can I learn how to do the shortcut What's that? In school, I learned how to do the shortcut What's well, the shortcut date? That's the shortcut date. You don't have to do 2019 October. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Man. I'm stoked about this cat. Cat turned out great. Here's dead too. The moon and lightning. Cool. I love it. And that's our vampire cat. Looks great. I love it. Turned out really cool. I'm excited to color this. All right, guys. We hope you had fun drawing your vampire kitty with us today. Now we're going to go ahead and color our drawings. We love to see how you guys color yours. So please share with us on Instagram at WildStyleKids, hashtag WildStyleKids, so we can share it with our friends on there. We're done, huh? Okay, we're going to color, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>